This physics example video will show you how to calculate the speed of sound given data on um, the resonant positions of a air column, the top of the water column, um, in perhaps a lab situation. But this uh, air column is formed by adjusting water level in a tube that's open at the top. There's a tuning fork held at the top, 440 hertz. And when the uh, water is at a proper position, the reflected sound wave from the water will set up a standing wave. You'll hear a loud sound when the water is in the proper uh, position. There's a proper length of air column from the top of the tube down to the water level. And this happened at 19.8 centimeters, hypothetically, for this, uh, this particular tube. Then we... Uh, lower the water level and we again hear the loud sound when the tuning fork is up at the top of the tube and the water level is at 59.4 centimeters below the top we hear the loud sound again so what is the speed of sound and what's the temperature of the air we're going to ignore the effect of the diameter of the tube so a drawing combined with some calculations here uh, but on the left we have the tube and the air column is only 19.8 centimeters long. On the right side, we have the air column 59.4 centimeters. The important thing is fitting the wave in here. At the open top of the tube, there's an antinode for the sound. At the water, there's a node. And there's quarter, roughly quarter wavelength between these two. We're ignoring the fact that the antinode actually sits a little bit above the top of the tube. Um, for the longer air path here, antinode, then a node here at this level, then an antinode, and then a node at where the water is again. Now, the speed of sound is equal to the wavelength times the frequency for the sound. When we look at this picture, we can pick out a half wavelength segment. From node to node, there's a half wavelength. And that distance would be 59.4 centimeters from here to this position, 19.8 centimeters. So a half wavelength is 39.6 centimeters. The full wavelength is 79.2 centimeters, 0.792 meters. And we're halfway to getting our calculation going here. The other half is easy. We're given that the frequency of the tuning fork is 440 hertz. So as long as you weren't listening to a harmonic, if you're listening to the 440 hertz and determine these positions, we can legitimately calculate the speed of sound. That speed is the wavelength times the frequency, 348.48 meters per second. How do we come up with the temperature? Well, the speed of sound does depend on the temperature of the air, and that relationship is the speed of sound is 331.3 meters per second, that's at zero degrees Celsius. We have to add on 0.606 meters per second for each degree Celsius. So that quantity T, the temperature in Celsius minus zero, which doesn't uh, come into play. So let's put the numbers in. 348.48 meters per second was the speed of sound we determined. There's our base number plus 0.606 times the temperature in degrees Celsius. We can subtract these two meters per second values then divide by the coefficient in front of t. And slide this up uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. And I came up with 28.3 degrees Celsius for the temperature. Convert that to Fahrenheit, it's about 83 degrees Fahrenheit. So hopefully you follow along in the example here. Back up the video if you need to. You should repeat these calculations on your own calculator to make sure that you're understanding. But we're making use of the fact that velocity, the speed of sound, is equal to wavelength times frequency. This is true for all waves, light, sound, whatever you have for a wave. Um, then the relationship where the speed of sound depends on the temperature of the air. Ask your instructor if you have questions on this. If you want more uh, physics and astronomy, short lectures and short example problems worked out, these two websites are free, no registration. The videos are listed, and there's a direct link to YouTube at, uh, at these sites. Please uh, click on the subscribe button if these uh, videos are helpful for you.